the channel. Um, hope that you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Today we've got a um, old Chevy here that uh, we're doing some custom door panels like we had back in the day when I was younger. And um, if they come over this way a little bit, here's one that's already done. Uh, we're doing the traditional diamond tufts type stuff here. Um, it, it's not super fancy, but it's what we had back in the day and, and uh, I wanted to do this car in that same way. So we'll show you what's going on here. Uh, off of eBay, we were able to buy um, five yards of this uh, material. Uh, I think it's like 33 bucks a yard, something like that. Um, and basically it's trim it and glue it. Um, I'm, using a, I'm using a cardboard type, very similar to what a stock panel would have been, would have been, excuse me. Um, this stuff is called thermoply and it, uh, as you can see, structural sheathing. Uh, this came from Home Depot and was like 18 bucks for a four by eight sheet. Um, it has a waterproof coating to it, which I liked. So, and it was, uh, uh, it was cheaper than the plastic that they had. So I went with that. This, this piece obviously got cut a little short. I was trying to, you know, work my pieces like a puzzle to get the most out of two uh, four by eight sheets as I could to get, uh, to be able to do all the panels. Okay. I had already covered this panel and I screwed up and, uh, just to kind of illustrate a point to you, the way all the panels have been done so far, the diamonds run top to bottom. So when I covered this one, I got in a hurry. And as you can see, here's the top, here's the bottom. I got the, I got the diamonds running the wrong way, a 90 degree angle. So I was able to peel it off before it set up too good. And I won't throw this away I will use this to uh, cover a smaller panel, a kick panel or something that goes. So we're, we're going to hang on to that and we're going to redo this panel and basically show you the process. It's, it's not hard to do. It's, uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I was telling my kids I haven't done a set of panels for an old car in probably 40 years. So the last one I did was a 58 Chevy I had as a kid. So we're going to be using some... Uh, 3M super weather strip adhesive that you can get at any auto parts house. Uh, it's like eh, 30 bucks a can, something like that. Works good, does the, does the deal. These panels will be held onto the car with uh, trim screws and some trim washers. So I'm not putting nails or any of the factory type way that they fixed them on. Uh, they'll be probably well, on this panel, there might be three, maybe four screws that hold it on. On the door panel, there might be five. And uh, they're, you know, they're a chrome screw. They'll look okay. And they'll, like I say, there again, back to the way, you know, things were done in the 60s and 70s. So what, we, what we're going to do is on these panels, they're not perfectly rectangled. The doors aren't perfectly rectangled. But there is, a, there is a vertical line that you can line things up on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the seams here where the diamonds meet. And I'm going to try to line my panel up as best I can with those, with those points of the diamond there on the side. And that kind of gives me my reference point. If I, if I screw this up, the whole thing's off. <laughs> uh, but... So what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this with glue. It's a contact cement, so you spray it, and you wait a couple of minutes, five minutes, whatever. Then you come back, stick it, you basically get one shot. Um, otherwise, you, it wants to tear and whatnot, taking it apart. So, uh, I always drag my material over the side. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a professional um, trim man. Um, totally amateur. I mean, a professional mechanic, but not a professional trim man. So there may be some better ways to do this, but this is the way I've always done it. And uh, like I said, uh, as far as period correct on a 56 Chevy, I think it'll be just fine. So 
what I'm going to do, make sure I'm lined up good, and we're going to give this a spray. Both, both pieces there. And then we'll come back and we'll uh, let that dry, and then we'll come back and stick it. So. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I try to I try to hang it off the table when I spray the glue because this stuff does go everywhere. It gets all in your hands, and uh, it can be a real, a real booger to get off. How do you get it off? Well, they make a, a product called uh, General Trim or General uh, General Purpose. Uh, uh, what do they call that stuff? Uh, it's made by 3M. Comes in a red and white can. It's a it's a general purpose uh, remover for for adhesive uh, <clears throat> but you can use spray carburetor cleaner of course that's probably not the best thing for your hands but uh, it does work but on something like the vinyl you don't want to get it on the vinyl so the stuff they sell won't hurt the vinyl it's it's uh, it almost it almost has the consistency of WD-40 but with a little less uh, lubricity with the so anyways, we'll uh, let this uh, tack up and then we'll fold it over and then we'll flip it over and show you what the finished uh, panel looks like. So, so we'll be right back. Okay. So